That was close. But I don't think I've ever escaped from them that easy before. But Doctor, they're still outside doors. Now, where were we? Oh yes, what we need is somewhere nice and peaceful to go. Get away from the last few days, take a break. Have a rest as it were. I know just the place. Welcome to Hideki. Spot of fishing, the best relaxation I know in the galaxy. What's there in the uh, umbrella stand? Come on, those fish won't catch themselves. Uh, doctor, I've never been fishing before. Is it easy? Yeah, relatively easy. Come on, you just sit there and wait for the fish to get you. Should have expected that. Well, <clears throat> that's what happens when you travel through the vortex with no shielding. Just drag him over there out of the way. Bob, third corridor, just past the library. Opposite the cricket pavilion, there's a store of rope. Will you fetch a coil, please? Uh, right, old doctor, I'll go get some. While Bob's getting rope, what is a Cybros man? <laughs> That'll be Cyberman. Uh, well, they were once human, from a planet called Mondas. They were frightened of death, so did everything to upgrade themselves, till there was so little humanity or emotions left in them. Doctor, she hates you. Is that normal? I'll just go over, check in with Sonic, make sure he's still in offline mode, and... Wait, what? You call this Cyberman female? Oh yes, Doctor, there's definitely a female mindset there. Well, fair enough. Let's come see what's taking Bob so long without rope. In the hour, Doctor, what are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to tie up said Cyberman or Cyberwoman to the tree, just for now. She's really heavy, Doctor. Right, I'm going to go and light a fire. What are we going to do with her, Doctor? We can't leave her here. No, you're right. We can't leave her here. I'll tell you what. I think I may know the perfect place. But let's just relax tonight. Well, we all seem to have caught something. Uh, you went, Doctor. Uh, yes, I know. But never mind. Let's just have a nice night. You know, there was one time I landed on this planet. Offered the first person I met a jelly baby, and they thought I ate babies. I had a thing for jelly babies back then. They're small, sweet things. They're quite nice. Get some all off you some. Tell us more, Doctor. Uh, yeah, Doctor, tell us more. Okay. Uh, how about... I don't know. But then my TARDIS threw me out, and I had to go hunting across space for it. That was a long, complicated story, which I don't think we have time for tonight. Oh, and then there's Captain Jack Harkness. We'd need, to need a knight on Derillium for me to tell you the tales about him that I have heard. And a knight there is 25 years. Right, you two enjoy the rest of your evening. There's some things I have to do before we leave. Good night. What have you got to do, Doctor? Can we help? No. I have to prepare a room in the TARDIS for our cyber guest over here. And uh, it needs to be a very, very secure room. Uh, right. <clears throat> Once again, good night. Good night, Doctor. 
Ah, right, Doctor. Thank you, old girl. You always seem to know exactly what I want. Okay, everyone. Rise and shine. We've got to deal with this cyber person. Come on. Let's get to it. Good morning, Doctor. Morning, Doc. Uh, I see you. We were busy last night, so you've got changed. Uh, yeah. Thought it looked better. Uh, yeah, Doc. Are we putting it in that box? Uh, yes, Bob, we are. Uh, right, I'll, I'll go and uh, untie it and uh, drag it into the box for you. Thank you, Bob. Uh, what are we doing with it now? We're taking it back into the TARDIS and we're putting it in the specially repaired room that I've made. OK? Yeah, all right. Right, Doctor. Uh, you'll have to leap where I get lost in there. That's right, Bob. We're right behind you. And uh, you'll not get lost this time. OK, Bob. Back a bit further and it'll be on your right-hand side. You can't miss the arch, right? All right, Doc. Uh, Doc, I feel funny. What is this room? This is the zero room. No feel. Nothing happens. No one can get hurt. Brilliant for cyber people. Right, I'll just deadlock the doors. That cyberman isn't getting out of there. You're not going to leave her in that all the time, Doctor, are you? No, this is just the safest place for the cyber person to be until we can figure out exactly what to do and whether she's safe. You do realise these things never go well. The last time this kind of thing happened, Jack Harkness told me about it. Still wanted to convert people to the cyber race. I have to ascertain the safety. This one is different, Doctor. From everything that you've told me, this one is different. I swear. I only know what I've read, Doc. The bad news.